Hacking demo number five, zero day attack. The attacker will try to take control of a victim's computer using DNS. A malware is crafted, embedded in a document, and sent by email. The attacker only has to wait for his victim to open it. When the document is opened, the malicious code is executed and a command and control channel is created. This channel is relying entirely on DNS packets to transmit the data. And then the malware starts to propagate itself. In 2016, 11 critical bind vulnerabilities were disclosed. Some of them would allow just a single packet to make the service fail, as we are going to show you. The attacker has the objective of bringing down the DNS service so that the users won't be able to access their financial application. For that, he is going to send a vulnerability attack, targeting DNS server after DNS server. Using unpatched vulnerabilities, the hacker was easily able to successfully interrupt the DNS service. How it works. We are going to monitor at the same time both the DNS health and the availability of the critical financial application. As you can see, the service is up and running. The attack sent relies on a single crafted query the impact is instantaneous. The service is now down, and the business applications will quickly show traces of failure. Most legacy security devices rely on threat signatures to prevent vulnerability attacks, but very often, they arrive too late. Efficient IP hybrid DNS engine allows you to run multiple DNS engines on the same service and gives you the ability to switch from one engine to the other. Select the target server. It is currently running on bind. Then click on switch DNS engine. All the configuration is automatically switched to the right format. The server is now running on unbound, making it immune to any bind vulnerability attacks. The critical financial application is still running and protected. Secure your business, protect your data. To learn more about DNS security, visit our website at www.efficientip.com.